Requiem Game Review. The story ended in Black Plague, so this one doesn't really have a plot. It does have a twist though, and you can see it coming ten miles away, practically before you start up the expansion pack. Expansion packs are really usually the same. The game did well, they haven't had time to do a sequel yet, but they want to make some more money, so they release something that has a couple of new features, a few hours of playing time, and we sadly eat it up. This one is especially useless because, to my knowledge, there is no Penumbra 2. This doesn't really bridge the gap between two. The story is over. And you can tell just how lazily it's done by looking at the design. There's no longer any use for the inventory, seeing as how the only things that go in there now are your light sources and healing items. Why not just go and spring for a HUD? These games didn't have a HUD before because they didn't need one. You know, there was the inventory. Now the inventory is useless. Why not go for a HUD instead? It really doesn't make sense. The notebook is also still there. And it's even more useless because nothing goes in there at all. Like, except for keeping track of how many of the MacGuffins you've picked up. This is very clearly divided into levels. And each level has you finding one to three MacGuffins, then the exit, and then going through it. There's also some hint of a time limit, but I don't know, I was never in a level for long enough for that to... That would have been cool, though. There are some reasonably cool environments, but nothing we haven't seen before. Just some new designs to them, you know, new objects in these areas. And then there's just these really weird areas that... I don't know, they seem to be a standby for some games when they don't really have anything meaningful to, you know, nothing symbolic, nothing interesting, nothing that makes sense in the overall context. You know, the Path of Neo did this same thing. Anyway, basically all that's left in the game, because there are no enemies and thus no hiding or fighting or fleeing, all that's left is the point and click first person puzzle solving, and the puzzles are not that great. It's re really, really short. I think I did it in less than three hours of playing time. And there's no replayability. There's one collectible kind of thing, and two on-off settings for making it more or less challenging, and that's it. There's only the one difficulty setting. So really, it doesn't even explain what has happened in the first two, although I suppose with this being an expansion pack to the second one, Black Plague, I guess you have to have, have that one before you can play this one. But yeah, it doesn't add anything, and all it is is first-person shooter style puzzles. It's like playing Half-Life without any of the enemies, you know, only the jumping puzzles and, you know, get to this point through here instead of through here. That's it.